Velvet, what is Artorius's method of fighting? He wields a long sword in his left hand, and he once had a Moloch named Ceres who used fire. Had, but I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new Moloch called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Then I'll chew through it. At which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how will you get close to him in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But, but, Velvet, you'll... That's an order. Oh. All right. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorius. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorius is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorius, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all-consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? <gasps> it's a dangerous path we walk, but a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. Okay. He's here. Demons and Malachim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. Revenge for Lapiset! Uh Very well. It is time. So this is the Shepherd's style. Why howdy are we dead? But he has no molecules. Remember the plan. Shooting star. Shut up! 
Let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power. Is it really? That is cheating! Why do I remember you that night? A terrible night. <laughs> This time. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, that man would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Uh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood is me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. <sighs> Out of my way! Learn your place, you abominable demon! Why? Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy set me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. Sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order.
Nominat's power reacting with the Earth Pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch, you've strayed so far. Velvet, wake up. Oh, just let me sleep a little more, Celica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. <gasps> oh. Where am I? Did they... kill me? My wounds are gone. Fever. Uh... Please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. We've got to get out of here. <laughs> Just hang in there, Luffy said. somewhere. this place anyway. Where's the exit? What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. 
Yeah, it's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafayette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafayette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh... He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. An exorcist would work. We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malachim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever. You don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. I see. O oh, child of the Fountain of Creation, these vows we exchange. May our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Such... such power! How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat! He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Betcha Ten Gold that I'm right. Ten Gold? You're on. What in the. Luffy said, What did that exorcist do?
What happened to you? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to, then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist has appeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides... His power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, all right? My darling Ted and Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me! The adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! Look, that wall is cracked. That means... Exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Enominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia? 
the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the Temple Builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves. Is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> They were nothing. Ah! You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. I'm happy to help you all, but this time, I really, really needs to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it, there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swear it. Look, I had special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. Sorry to cut you down.
Thank <laughs> you. 